back in 2004, me and a friend of mine called, his name is Matt, clicks thing, we were going to Amoeba. So here we are driving and I was hearing this, this awesome music, I mean it was, it was so awesome. And I asked him, what, what kind of music is that? He told me it was Velvet Underground. I go, Velvet Underground? Now let me see the cover of that. And I saw the cover and, and there it was, there was a banana, a ripe banana. Kind of ripe. And you peel it and there was a penis in, in, in the damn cover. I thought that was so hilarious, so I said, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a banana, but an out of shape banana. So it will match with the other one. But I have my banana. <laughs> and still be Velvet Underground. Sure, why not, huh? Down to the last drop, really. <laughs> Back in 1991, there was a teacher called well, I don't know if she's a teacher. She's still a bitch to me. <laughs> Anyways. I had came in late. But I was trying to get in line to get my breakfast that, that, that bright morning. And when I came in and got my plate of breakfast, she deprived me of my juice and my milk. I said, I, I, what are you doing? No, you stand in the rail. I mean, what do you mean stand in the rail? I mean, I just... No, you stand over there. And just because I told her that I wanted my juice and my milk back. <clears throat> she took me to the principal's office and... And told the principal that I called her a bitch. Which I didn't do. But, you know... She said that I did. So, she, they had me writing this apology note, but... I said I didn't do it. I had to make sure. That what she did to me wasn't gonna go on. I mean, on, I mean, she. I was gonna make sure she understand that I wasn't. I was not pleased for what she did to me. Yet you deprive me of my lunch. I mean, my, of my beverages, and then you take me to the office, get bench, and write you an apology note. You might have. <laughs> you might as well shoot me. She. She. If you're gonna do all that, but so I poured some glue on <laughs> on her chair. And when she sat there and gave us a lecture, she tried to get up and she couldn't get up. And it, was, it was so hilarious. She knew it was me, but I guess she had no proofs to say that I did it. So so that kind of went unforgotten. And well, I, I didn't give her the apology either. And not to this day, I still, I still have a headache for that shenanigan. <laughs> is to take over all the art I mean the art world on shirts and make our own I mean because it's, it's more original we're not sitting there copying any anyone else's so that way we are known throughout the world that we're out here it's not a bunch of people will call us retards I guess all of us all of us in general are retards to uh, at some point Yes, we have things that uh, that we might seem abnormal to to regular people or so-called regular people, but in reality, we all have issues. And let's stop playing games. That is the truth. We want people to understand that although we might be handicapped and and all that good stuff they say about us, we are human beings too. Like everybody else. Well, if you have a dream, you go out there and follow your dream. You are go you go out there and look for it. Dig for it.
going away just like regular people. We were out there to have fun. Everybody's out there to have fun. If you're going to sit there and be bitter of life, you might as well just... I don't know, just seek for, seek help. <laughs> seek help. There's a lot to there's a lot to see out here in the world. There's lots of things to do. Place to see. Yes, there is. A lot of good things to be done. Don't, doesn't always have to be negative. No. Positive. Life goes on. <laughs>